Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and on October 14th of this year, 2025, Windows 10 support is going to end. So I have a bunch of churches that I built computers for way before Windows 11 ever came out that if you run the Windows health check, it will say that the computer is not capable of running um, Windows 11. So what are you going to do? Um, you could go ahead and upgrade the motherboard and the CPU and the memory and all this other stuff to get it to up the spec to what Windows is saying it needs. But what if I show you that there's a way to get around that? Now, first, before you even do this, make sure that your computer does have the capability of running it. Um, so for example, let me um, show you. I'm actually remoting into a church's computer that is on Windows 10. And if I run the check, so we got 16 gigs in memory um, and the CPU is fine, but it's saying that the TPM 2.0 is not supported. Now, actually it is, I have to do a firmware update, I mean a BIOS update on the motherboard and it could work. But again, this church is about a three hour drive away from me. So I wanna show you how you can get this done. But again, I know that the specs of the computer can handle Windows 11. This is just some security stuff. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a, a website and we're going to go, well, go to Microsoft's website and we're going to download the ISO image of Windows 11. So I've already done that. It just finished up right here. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to download a tool called Rufus. I've used this before for Linux and Linux installs, prepping USB drives and all this other stuff. So we're going to do that because they have a nice little feature inside of Rufus that helps us bypass that security um, issues that we're having. Now, one of the things with this that I have is this church is three hours away. And it's like, wait a minute, if I'm going to use Rufus to make a USB drive, don't I need to actually have a USB drive hooked up to the computer? That's where we're going to play around with a couple of things and make a virtual drive. So the first thing we're going to do is here on our desktop, we're just going to hit the start button and we're going to type in disk management and you should see create format hard disk partitions. We're going to go ahead and open that, let it run. And we're going to come up here to action and we're going to create a VHD, a virtual hard drive. And you can call it whatever you want to um, and give it a location. So I'm just going to do it under documents and I'm going to call this virtual USB. All right. And then we want to give it a size. We want to give it at least eight gigs. If you have a separate drive, you probably want to put it on that. Again, there's only one hard drive on this computer. So this should work. Should. Well, it will work. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and create that. So we're making a virtual hard drive that we're going to turn into a USB drive. All right. So it doesn't take that long. Now let's click over here, right click over here where it says unknown and we're going to initialize disk and let's go ahead and check off master boot record. Click okay. And that's it. Now in the unallocated space, we're going to right click here and we're going to create a new simple volume. Next do this next. It will give you a drive letter. doesn't really matter what it is next. And that's it. Make sure you do a, um, perform a fast format, quick format and boom, there we go. And there's our drive. Now, what we need to do is we're going to go back to this PC. Here's our new drive. Let's right click on it and we're going to eject it. All right. And remember where you put that drive. We're going to go back to our downloads and I put my drive under, was it documents? Yes, it was. It was under documents. There it is. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to mount it. So we just added it right back again. All right. Now there's a reason why we did this. It's going to trick the computer into thinking that it's an actual detachable USB drive. All right. So now, You've also downloaded Rufus and you have your ISO image of Windows. So let's go ahead and open up Rufus. We're going to install that. 
Um, no, I don't want to check for updates because once I'm done, we're done. All right, so as you can see, it picked up my drive, <laughs> the one we just made as a USB drive. So that's cool. So we got that selected. Now let's go ahead and select our ISO image that we have from Windows. We're going to open that. It's going to do a couple of checks, all this other stuff. You don't really need to change anything. So now we're going to go ahead and this is going to make a USB bootable um, thumb drive for installing Windows, but we're not going to boot from it. We're going to be able to just launch it. So we're going to start it, but we're going to have some prompts here, and this is where the magic comes in. It's going to remove the requirements for the secure boot and the TPM 2.0, which is what's stopping Windows 11 from naturally installing. This is going to remove that, and you can also disable the BitLocker, disable that privacy questions, because everything is going to stay the same. We just want to bypass all that. And this is going to make a wrapper so that when we start Windows, it's going to make it to actually skip all this stuff, which is going to make this work. And this is how I can do this um, from three hours away. We're going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to wipe out that virtual drive that we made. And we just let that do its thing. It dropped the drive because it's actually formatting it. Give it a little bit, and it should be pretty fast since it's an actual virtual drive. It's not an actual mechanical drive that's moving. So now it's adding those customizations for us to bypass all that fun stuff that's been stopping us from installing Windows 11. And just to show you, if I come here and we go to command line and we type win version, winver, you can see that we are on Windows 10. All right, just to confirm. Give it a few more seconds here. All righty, so the whole thing is done. We can close this. And if we go back to my PC, you see we have our drive here. So we open this up. Now we have our custom setup. Let's go ahead and launch the setup now. And boom, there we go. We have our Windows install. We're going to go ahead and go to next. It's going to be checking for updates. It's going to try and pull down the latest. You would hope. Microsoft would include it, its latest version of its ISO, but sometimes it doesn't. So let's let it do its checks, and then we'll be back once that checks are done. All right, so now it did its checks, and we got up here. We're just going to go through and accept. And it's doing some more checks for updates. But we haven't gotten stopped for the install. So we should be able to go through all of this and then we'll be able to let it do the install. And then we come back I'm, again, I'm probably going to give it an hour um, and then it should be done. It shouldn't take that long, but let's come on back when this, the updates and all this other stuff are done. All righty. So we got to our install. So now it's asking us, um, it's going to install home. We're going to keep all our files and apps. So yes, we don't want to erase anything. So we're going to go ahead and start the install. So look, we got Windows 11 starting to install. So we'll be back once everything is done. All right. So we're just jumping in here for a half a second. As you can see, updates are going well. I think um, Windows 11 is done. It's just downloading some more updates. So We'll be back when it's finally finished. All righty, folks, we're here in Windows 11, and we got a couple of messages here that we got to change. I don't know what this couple of drivers here. Strange, but I'll work with it. They had a couple of issues on there, but hey, we got everything here. So if we come through here, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but let's just look at it if we go to and type in WinVer. We're on Windows 11. So 
Those are the steps that you need. Let me know if you have any other questions. Links are going to be down below to the two links that we talked about, which is going to be the Windows 11 ISO download and Rufus. And just go back through the video talking about going to disk management and everything to follow the steps. And it is very simple. So let me know if you have any other questions. And that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later. Yeah.